Washington, D.C. or uh, somewhere where you get like 40, 40 inches of rain a year, something like that, it would take of just normal weathering erosion to do two feet of, er- two feet of, of erosion like this more than 100,000 years. And so, and, and that's, I think you can extend that because if, if, well, the thing is, maybe there was more rainfall here at some point. We know there was after, since about 4,000 BC, the, the African humid period was, was, was in place. That's, that's another big, I think, tell uh, for, for what happened, particularly on the Giza Plateau and, and the sites in Egypt uh, in that, you know, but one of the things that always mystified me about the, the Sphinx is like, it's spent so much time buried in sand up to its chest over the last several thousand years, more time than it hasn't been. We have to work pretty hard to keep the sand out of it now. In fact, there were multiple attempts to dig it out of the sand in the 1800s that failed. And then they just literally two or three years later, it's, it's, it's sort of buried up to its chest again. Seems like a design flaw. <laughs> right. Like, Why would you build this thing in a low spot in a windy desert where it's going to fill with sand? 